is Sage Lewis from Web Marketing Watch. So you, have you ever used Alexa to compare websites? It's on Alexa.com, A-L-E-X-A.com, and it's a kind of a cool thing. You can uh, go in and you can type in um, up to five different domains and you can compare the traffic of these domains um, over a particular period of time. Now, how does Alexa get its uh, numbers? That That's always the, the, the rub here at Alexa is that you get Alexa, Alexa gets its numbers through the Alexa toolbar and so if you don't have the Alexa toolbar um, you know they're not counting you. I haven't used or installed an Alexa toolbar in a long long time. Um, so you have to take that into account and perhaps a particular kind of person uses an Alexa toolbar and so that can skew the results. But just the same, it's still kind of interesting information. And so what I've done here is I've looked at Google, Yahoo, and MSN um, uh, to compare their traffic. and. Uh, uh, this little teal bar down here is ask and unfortunately they you know they're way down in comparison to the other engines here uh, this is a seven day range you see here I can do different ranges I can do seven days a month three months six months a year three years five years and a max um, and so we can see here in a seven in a seven day uh, uh, positioning here, uh, Yahoo is actually beating out Google, and that's all of Yahoo's uh, traffic. And keep in mind that Yahoo is really a portal; um, they have lots of different websites, whereas Google doesn't necessarily have a lot on its web its own website. So that can play a role in it. Uh, but let's take a look here at the one month. Uh, uh, trend here. We'll go out to a month and now we can see um Yahoo is still ahead here and then MSN is this is down here but look at the end here at the very end they all take a little peak upwards. Let's take a look now at three months. All right now Yahoo is still ahead. Um, MSN is kind of now you can see it there's some more up and down trends that are sort of interesting at this at this point. Um, let's go to six months. Now um, we can see here. Take a look. MSN was up ahead here. Uh, this was this was back in July. Um, MSN was neck and neck for a while there. Something had happened, maybe some sort of advertising or something along those lines, but then they, they had a downward trend. Um, but Yahoo is staying really strong. And then over here, in this is in uh, December, middle of December here, uh, Yahoo and Google neck and neck. But MSN is kind of going on a downward trend. Let's go to a year now. Okay, now we can see MSN is, look at what MSN has done. This is out in, uh, this is April over here, uh, May, June, and July. So, you know, we've got uh, March and February and, and, and January here. And look at that. MSN was ahead that period of time and then started a downward trend. Um, the whole while, uh, uh, ask is just kind of bouncing down below here. Uh, this comparison, these are such stratospheric numbers that it's hard to see any kind of data on ask. But I did want to put those in for you. Let's go to the three year. Okay, now we're seeing some interesting bumps here. Google was down, look at that, three years ago. This is, uh, this is, this is 2007 over here, 2006, 2005. Look at that. Look at that change. MSN was the, or Yahoo was the leader, then MSN, then Google. And then look what's happening. And now MSN had this interesting spike and then went down. Um, and then left Yahoo and Google to fight that out. Then let's go to five. Let's just jump over to the maximum. Uh, and the maximum goes uh, back to 2002. And Google way down here, 
ask numbers, really. I mean, they were equivalent to ask. And then, and then look what here happened. There was a big drop. This is kind of weird that MSN and Yahoo kind of dropped. They were fighting it out. Yahoo went up there. They were beating it out. And all the while came this, this underdog coming up and then came into the fray here. This does not represent search traffic. This re represents all traffic to the websites. And you have to keep in mind that MSN and Yahoo are both, are both portals, uh, destination sites really, where Google is a jumping off point. And so the, the amount of content that is on Yahoo and MSN is, is, is tremendous compared to what is on Google. Um, and so that's oftentimes why you see something like Yahoo beating out a, a, uh, um, a Google type of site in this case. But boy, look at what happened here. Isn't it interesting how times have changed? Google coming in out of nowhere and then MSN just falling off. Um, I think that's going to change actually. I'm seeing some really interesting things that is going on with uh, MSN and I think we will probably see this, this demarcation change. This is a great tool to use for your own market research. If you are comparing your site to your competitor's websites, you can get a, a snapshot of, of how you're doing in comparison. But some people really hold on to this data like it is the be-all, end-all data. And this data can be manipulated fairly easily. I've seen people install uh, Alexa toolbars uh, company-wide on every web browser and then the start page of their website is their home page and uh, that really has a big big impact on Alexa ranking but from just gathering information this can be really interesting so if you haven't tried it go over to Alexa.com and see if you might find this information valuable for your market research alright everybody this is Sage Lewis from Web Marketing Watch and happy marketing